The ACC Women's Basketball Tournament may have to say goodbye to Greensboro after next year. Women's Tournament is scheduled to take place at Greensboro Coliseum March of 2024, but the future is unclear after that. The Coliseum's hosted the tournament since 2000. When asked about the future, ACC Commissioner Jim Phillips said that Charlotte is a possible contender for the tournament's future location. The ACC headquarters, you recall, moved from Greensboro to Charlotte earlier this year. Well, the Wake Forest men's team begins their basketball season with a special charity game. This weekend, the team's going to take on Alabama as a way to raise money for stroke research. Shannon Smith tells us how it's a cause that hits at home for the Wake Forest head coach. We're really taking you behind the scenes this morning. We are in Coach Steve Forbes, head basketball coach of Wake Forest University's office right now. And here's the man himself. This weekend, big deal for your organization. First of all, you get back on the court. Yeah, it's going to be really nice to play uh, another team on uh, Sunday. We're kind of tired of practicing against each other, yeah. as you can imagine. And so it's going to be uh, a lot of fun for our players to get out there in front of our fans. Plus, play such a quality opponent in a top 25 team like uh, Alabama. But for you especially, this is meaningful. Can you talk about why? Yeah, you know, we're going to play this charity game for uh, stroke uh, research, stroke awareness. And I think a lot of people know that my wife, uh, Johnetta, had a stroke on August 8th. Mm -hmm. And so we spent about 42 days in the hospital between Florida and, and Atlanta. And now we're back home uh, doing outpatient therapy at Atrium Health Wake Forest Baptist. So, you know, we've been home about a month now from the hospital and she's getting better, you know, every day. It's small steps. Mm -hmm. But uh, the brain is an amazing thing. I've come to learn this really fast that mm -hmm. it can do, it can, it can heal. And so I think it's important that people understand that go through something like this and you can have it, it can happen at any age that you can get better. I know it was a tough decision for you to stay on and coach this year or take the time off. You've been able to do both and I think that's in part you've credited to the Wake Forest family. Oh, no question. No credit, first of all, to my players for being very low maintenance uh, <laughs> and really good guys and I have an incredible staff you know, and we've been together a long time and their wives and families have been very involved. And then, yes, we've had so much uh, help from the community, mm -hmm. not only just health care, but meal prep, mm -hmm. you know, people coming by the house to visit, you know, words of encouragement. Um, she's gotten an amazing amount of cards and flowers. And I, I wish people could send in sweets and those kind of things. <laughs> but um, you know, it, yeah, it, it's, it's, it, it, I think that really helped. Yeah. Helped her. Well, coach, thanks so much. Have fun on Sunday too. I know you want everybody to come out and be a part of this. Yeah, I think it'd, it'd be great. You know, I actually, uh, Ohio state and uh, Dayton played Sunday in a mental health charity game. They raised a half a million dollars. Wow. And so, you know, hopefully we can, you know, we can do some good damage for, yeah. uh, for, for, the, for the stroke awareness. Well, fantastic. And it's a pay what you can charity event. So come out, be supportive of this cause and help them raise money to help people in the future who may struggle with the same thing. The Wake Forest men's basketball charity game is this Sunday at 1 p.m. at the LJVM Coliseum. Admission is free, but there's a suggested donation of $20 for stroke research. The World Series starts tomorrow. Arizona Diamondbacks are playing for a championship for the first time in 22 years. They can play the Texas Rangers game one tomorrow night at 8 o'clock. It is a best of seven series, so games continue all next week. You can catch the action right here on Fox 8.